All right, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be doing a quick unboxing and review of this pocket drum. And I just did an unboxing of this little mini drum. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, pretty fun drone, but this is a little bit more um, higher end, a little bit more expensive. Not too much though. This is kind of copying one of the higher, super high end drones, but this only costs around $30. So this is um, really nice packaging actually. So you can see the back, this guy with the suit. So you know it's gonna be good if this guy with the suit has it. And you know, it's foldable, it has adjustable camera, and the way that you actually control this is by sending out a Wi-Fi signal to your phone, so that's really cool. Um, and you actually, the controller is your phone. So let's unbox this really quick. And you can see really nice packaging like I mentioned earlier. Um, the drone's called JY018 Pocket Drone. So there's not much in this box, but Let's do this really quickly. So we can see the actual drone right here. Looks really nice, nice baby blue, uh, matte finish up top. Here's the bottom, uh, you know, here's the camera right there. Just giving you a 360 view here. All right, put that to the side for a second. Uh, let's see what else is in the box here. Oh, so you get your extra propellers just in case they break off and you get a manual on how to use it. And then you also get this carrying bag, little mesh material, kind of nice. All right, so let's go back to the actual drone. So it folds out. A really cool thing about this is that this is how you actually do it. So you fold it out. And you can kind of see the colors right there. Like I mentioned earlier, this is controlled, so you turn it on, it sends out a Wi-Fi signal to your phone, you download this UFO app on your phone, and you can basically just, you have a FPV, so a first person view of what's going on here. Uh, granted, camera is like 0.3 megapixels, something really garbage like that, so you're not gonna, don't expect to get any high quality pictures out of this drone at all. This is just merely to learn how to fly a drone, you know, how to fly a pocket drone, and also, uh, more of just for fun, you know, it's a, kind of fun to control this. Uh, this does have altitude holds, so it will stay stable, which I really appreciate because it's hard to, you know, control some of the other drones that don't really stay stable. And let's pop out the battery really quick. Uh, what else is it? has a gyroscope, so you can kind of control your, you can move your phone around like this, and it'll be able to control it, so I'll show you that in a little bit. So here's the battery. Uh, I think, I believe it's a 500 milliamp hour battery. Uh, not the largest battery and you only get one so it will only last about seven to nine minutes is what I've been kind of averaging so not the best but still a really cool product so let's you know kind of go outside and test it out let's start recording let's do this so I got an iPad mini here and I also got uh, the drone so I'm gonna set it up really quickly All right, so here's the app really quickly. Um, so really nice, controls there, um, you can get everything there. Um, you can see that gyroscope, so look at this one over here. You can see when I turn the iPad, that's actually gonna be turning the, the actual drone down there. So I can show you that in a little bit. Um, so here's the iPad, and if you, I'm pointing the camera you know, straight, so you can kind of see the quality of it. So I'll throw some images as well in here, but I just wanna show you the lag time, so pointing it at the iPad, pointing it away, pointing at the ground, not that much lag. So really doable. Like I said, the camera is nothing spectacular, but uh, we will, I'll give you some shots of it later. So let's just start flying. And there it goes. So you can see I'm just tilting this iPad back and forth, and that's how I'm flying this drone. It's a beautiful day out here, nice, nice park that I found. So, um, you know, I'm literally just, it's, it's altitude hold, I'm not even adjusting it. Um, let me bring this. Yep, there it is. So I am doing this all with one hand, so bear with me on the controls, because um, I could not figure out how to you know, attach this camera to my head as of right now. But look at that, you know, you can just see a nice little drone right there very stable um, you know I'm just like using the gyroscopes on my iPad so uh, real quick I'll just show you how this works 
So watch me tilt this way. There goes the iPad. I mean, there goes the drone. Watch me tilt this way. There goes a the drone that way. I'm gonna tilt it back, bring it back into view. And I'm gonna tilt it forward and it's gonna go away from us. Um, and then I bring it back here so we can all see it. Really easy to control, guys. I would like highly recommend if this is, if you're thinking about buying this as your first drone, this actually might be one of the better purchases. You know, it's a pocket drone. Um, definitely, I'm learning how to fly still, so I'm not the best, but this is very easy to control, especially with altitude hold. All right, guys, um, I can fly it around a little bit more. Again, sorry for the shaky video. And let's just try to bring that back to us nice and smooth. Oh, there it is. All right, guys, so hopefully you had a good idea of, you know, how to fly the drone through that flight test and kind of how it flies as well. Those are the two things I was trying to get across with that video. Um, and hopefully you saw the quality of the camera as well and just how bad it is, like potato quality bad. So um, I, I put it in the video and you can take a look. Um, and then another thing that you guys should know about this drone is about the batteries. So the batteries last only seven to nine minutes, like I mentioned earlier, which actually goes a lot quicker than you think. So I was, when I was filming this video, I had to recharge this battery two times before to get all the footage that I wanted, which is really bad. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it makes sense. It's also not very expensive. So, you know, having to put all these features for under $30, $35 is uh, really difficult to do. And I, I'm glad that they, you know, made it aesthetically pleasing as well as putting in your know, features that are useful. I mean, if you can pick it up for 30 to $35, I would highly recommend it um, for a beginner drone, nothing too fancy, uh, just something that kind of gets your feet wet into flying drones. So um, that's what I've been doing with this, just kind of testing it out, just kind of starting with drones. Um, but that is it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below and also check the description really quick. Uh, I'm gonna put a few links where to buy this. Um, and then also like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't. Um, let me know how to improve. Um, that is it for this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.